Hey guys, so we just picked up this little go kart here. From a guy we met at a shop. Uh, so, Will's not there. We don't even know where it is. Um, clutch is just gone. Engine's pretty clean. The uh, There's no gas in here though. It's completely dry. But other than that, I mean, it looks pretty nice. Now uh, we've got this plastic bucket seat here. I was surprised because this one, the wheels have a lot of camber on them. So I think that's going to do really nice. Uh, it's definitely a good bit of rust on here. This is already, the brakes has already improved. Like the first time I tried to press on it, it didn't even go back at all. Uh, gas pedal. Still probably need some WD-40, but it's also getting better. But this is really probably going to be the hardest part about it. And we just have to knock off some stuff. Put some better bolts in here. And things. But honestly, I might just rip off the whole roll cage. Um... I have to make a decision on that, and but I might just take the whole roll cage part off, so I don't have to weld it together and just make it like a road go kart. But other than that, I really like it. Uh, it's got just a little three horse on here, yeah. so we're gonna put some gasoline in there and see if it even runs at all. So we just filled it up with some gas. So we'll see if it cranks. Good. I wanted to. We go? Yep. Alright. Here we go. Well, hey guys, what's up? Ugh. All right, so today we got some new stuff from the store. We got two slick tires here. We got new bearings. We got some new little things here for the wheel. New clutch, and we're just gonna knock those out. Slap this on the go kart. Put a tire on, and get it rolling. All right, so. For you guys who are trying to do a project like this at home, uh, the tire, both slick tires are about 45 bucks each. These were about two bucks each. These are about a dollar each, and then the clutch was about 30 bucks. These came with it. And all right, that's gonna be what we're gonna work with today. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap these bearings out. So tap them out. It's really easy. You just put a screwdriver in there and you find the little groove on the other side. And it doesn't require much effort. I mean, hammer a couple times, it already popped out. Now, the reason that we're trying to pop these things out is because they're not turning good. Because if you look at them, I mean, there's so much grot and a bunch of just nastiness on there that's not turning. So, you're going to put one of these new shiny ones in there. So maybe they'll actually turn. Just do it with the other side. I mean, super easy. Not even putting a bunch of force into the hammering it. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to stick these new ones in there and hammer them in. Is this the right side? Okay. You don't want to do it too hard, or else you might damage the bear. Awesome. All right, now they're in good. They're turning really nice. All right, guys, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take off some of that rust. That way it's going to be able to 
turn and it won't be as rigid so the tire can hold air. Alright, so I have my cameraman hold on to it for me and I'm just gonna go over it and knock off some of that rust. Might want to turn on your volume because it's kind of loud. Alright guys, so we knocked that off, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to saw off the hub and get it going. Hey guys, so we just took off this wonderful little clutch here and it, it was probably the most annoying part of this project so far. It took us from yet, uh, about two hours yesterday and about 30 minutes today to take this off. It was probably, it was, it was so dumb. So what we did is we took this right here, the claw. The claws are master. Claw chooses who will go and who will stay. And what we did is basically, when this was still on, see it doesn't even want to go on there anymore. But. So when it was still on like that, we would put a nut like this right there, and then we put the claw on it, tighten it up, and it just eventually started slipping off. Uh, there we go. So now you can see it was very annoying. Okay. Now we got this nice, sparkly, shiny one that actually has things that'll keep it on. We don't even know why this was staying on so much. Didn't even have any screws on it or anything. It was just so beaten up. It was holding it on. So now what we're gonna do is we cleaned it off a little bit. Kinda looks like poop on a paper towel. Okay, we cleaned it off. WD-40 did a little bit, and we're just gonna slip it on. All right, guys, so put the clutch back on here. Uh, all we did for that is we put just a little wrench right here because the shear pin wanted to get in there real snug. So we, all we did is we, before we backed it in all the way, we put a wrench right here, a block of wood right here so we wouldn't damage the clutch and just kind of hammer the, the shear pin in. So now that's done good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this little thingy in there. So we got a special tool for that. Uh, you just get an ace, that's where we got it. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, so it's really simple. It just uses a spring and you put the tool in the holes and you just try and slip it on. But you definitely don't want it to, you don't want to flex it a lot or else it might, you know, break. It's very thin. And we have two washers on here. We wanted to be extra safe. So we just stuck two uh, just so that it would keep this on really nice. And there you go. We are ready to roll. There's your dinner. <laughs> All right, guys. So what we're going to do now, we got the chain on. Uh, everything's connected. Wheels on. Clutch is on. The guard is on. Everything's all good. But so now that the cart is rollable, uh, we're going to work on the engine. Because if you saw a little bit ago when we first got it and we tried to crank it up, it squealed a lot. Um, so we're just gonna take the starter off, we're gonna clean all the goop out, and then we'll just see if that'll let it run better. So, here you go. I did take it off before, and I put some WD-40 on the string that it would pull better. All right. So we have our starter here pulling better. We might have to get a longer string though. And as you can see here, it's 
very tight and you can just feel it not turning well. And there's already a bunch of goop on here. So I'm gonna grab some tools and I'm gonna knock it off real quick and clean it up. Okay, so we got all that off, keeping our parts are there so we don't lose anything. And so now comes the part where we take this off. So what we're gonna do, you see here, it's a little gap. It's gonna be hard. Here, use this one. So you're gonna put your screwdriver in there to hold it so it won't turn. You're gonna take your clutch tool right here. And you're just gonna slide it on. These are specifically made for Briggs and Stratton's right here. Uh, so you can take it off without having to beat on it and possibly damage it. So we're just gonna slide it on. See if I can get better leverage on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, see if I can figure out something, a way to get more leverage. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my little friend. It's a big mamba. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna give me a lot of leverage. So hopefully it'll pop off much easier because you saw how much I was struggling before. Gotta make sure that stays on when you're turning it. It's a lot easier. There you go. Awesome. It's all about the tools when you're doing these kind of jobs. Our neck tools. See all this nastiness? Look at all that. I wonder what's squealing. I would squeal too. Alright guys, so now we got this off. Thanks for our help from Big Mamba. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and we're going to look at the ball bearings. Okay. Look in there. It's all nasty. So we're going to clean it up real good. We're going to have to clean each one, get all that disgustingness off of there, and we'll see if it runs any better. All right, so we got this off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take some brake cleaner and we're just going to spray it, but make sure, just try not to get it on your hands. It's not really harmful, but it's probably not too good for you either. Okay, I'm just going to let that sit a little bit. Dry it up. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drop these in. Uh, make sure we got them all lined up, so I'm going to put them in each little apartment place and just make sure you don't drop them because you will never find them again and there you go doing their job so now I'm gonna put this on There it goes. And we're gonna take a little bit of this lubricant. Just gonna do a little squirt in here. There you go. And so now I tighten this thing on. We're just gonna 